Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore is directed by David Yates and tells a story of Newt Scamander now being brought back into this battle between Dumbledore and Grindelwald. And right now, it's sort of an intelligence battle. And this time around, Newt Scamander has helped Dumbledore form a team to try and go up against Grindelwald and stop him from becoming a political figure in the wizarding world. And if he's able to become the leader, he has a whole lot more control than what the good guys would want him to have and is going to spread hate and bigotry all across both the wizarding world and the muggle world. Now, I am a fan of the Harry Potter series. I really enjoy them. I did not grew up with these films, but when I did start watching them, all eight films in a row, I absolutely loved the story of Harry Potter. I thought all these films went from good to great. The first Fantastic Beasts, in my opinion now at least, is a pretty solid film. It is simple, it gets straight to the point, its visuals are fantastic, its characters to me were likable, and in the expansion of the world, I really dug. Overall, this was a very good start to this new prequel series and is one of the better prequels I could think of. Then, Crime to Grindelwald came out and crushed everything good that the first movie had going for. It, it had a more complicated story which it wasn't able to balance. It had way too many characters I wanted to focus on. It's actor Johnny Depp, while I do admire and I don't like the way he was treated before they started shooting and they were trying to cast everything, um, he was still back then, to me, just fine, but felt like another weird Depp performance. Um, overall, that film was very much poorly written by J.K. Rowling and is why the writer for the original Harry Potter films came back to help her, help the creator figure out her own work. Embarrassing in my opinion, but I think he saved this movie from being terrible. Now, I don't think it's as good as the first movie. I still prefer the first movie over these two movies. But the story here is a lot more streamlined, a lot more focused on what it wants to be. Its villains are very much, much more defined and have much more clear motivations and were a lot more engaging. And even though I don't like how Johnny Depp was kicked out of the project, Mads Mikkelsen did he did a good job in my opinion i think he served the character a whole lot better than johnny depp still i don't like the way johnny depp was kicked out so i don't know how to feel about grindelwald still overall so yeah i guess there's that but as a character in the story i think he worked a lot better this time around ezra miller when he's not choking a bitch, is a lot better here too. His character does get a little, does get the least amount of characterization, in my opinion, than all the other characters. But still, what is there, I found engaging, and I loved his mind, his mind being played with by Grindelwald and how he's between both being a Dumbledore and a servant under his side. Uh, I thought that aspect of the film was cool to look at. And the, and the story with our hero, Newt Scamander, Jacob Kowalski, and everybody else, I r really was invested in. Not only was Newt Scamander was once again the main character again and had a proactive part in this story, 
like he really makes all the a lot of the decisions here and was able to feel like a character who had a stake in this story he just overall still a whole a likable zoologist who just wants to study his creatures and for a movie called Fantastic Beasts to crime the Grindelwald really felt like it was lacking in beasts. This time around, the beasts are the focus. In particular, one beast, which I will not spoil. Um, but it has an important part to play with Grindelwald's story. Um, but the beast aspects of this series is finally back. And it was really engaging, just as engaging in my opinion as the first film. This movie really was a course correction, but unlike something like The Last Jedi, the course correction actually felt like it was written properly and to serve the story better instead of trying to subvert expectations. Overall, this film was a whole was just a massive improvement over its predecessor. Now is it now the reason why don't think it is as good as the first movie is mostly because there are still a few bit too many characters and overall I think the story is still trying to be a little bit too bigger than what's trying to be and for that I'm not sure if the outcome of this series is going to feel still cohesive despite this movie being a whole lot better than its predecessor. I just don't feel anything that about the story with New Scamander and the fight between Dumbledore and Grindelwald still was able to feel entirely connected with one another. But I could see where they're going with it here, and I feel like this movie it was was able to bridge that line perfectly better. Um, just overall, I just had a much better time with this movie than with the previous. The music is also kind of lacking. There wasn't that many memorable tunes, except for some of the Hogwarts uh, themes and Harry Potter themes and the stuff we heard from the first Fantastic Beasts, but overall the new soundtrack just never really got to me. Um, the cinematography, I will say, kind of takes also a backseat. This ain't the most visually appealing, in my opinion, of the entire Fantastic Beasts movies. Though there are a few cool shots, I will say, that looked very much impressive. Um, just overall, this is a good movie. I recommend it. Not the best, but certainly could have been worse. If solely written by J.K. Rowling, which I never want to see again. I'm going to give Fantastic Beasts, The Secret of Dumbledore, a B. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>